What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today I'm gonna to talk about Project Morpheus and VR in general. So this week at the Game Developers Conference, Sony unveiled Project Morpheus. It's their Sony uh, PlayStation 4 specific virtual reality headset. And if you've been on the web at all, you've seen a lot of reports about this thing and how good it is, you know, how initially great this thing is. And this thing will be going basically head to head with the Oculus Rift. And from what I've read so far, it's getting pretty positive reviews from people who've actually checked it out. If you actually want to check somebody out who's used it firsthand and he's a gamer like you and me, uh, check out Not Too Nerdy. I'll put a link down in the description to his video. Uh, he actually got a chance to check this thing out, and he's got some really great things to say about it. But VR, okay, so my history with VR goes back to probably the 90s, right? When Sega was talking about VR for the Genesis, uh, the Nintendo Virtual Boy was a unsuccessful thing. Uh, there were arcade cabinets that you could go to and put on these huge virtual reality headsets and like stand in these, uh, I don't even know what they were called, but it was expensive and it worked okay, but it was kind of slow and laggy. Uh, but it's always been this promise, right? Or not always, but for a long time it's had all this promise. Because instead of just looking at your TV screen and having the controller in your hands, the thing that VR really promises is to immerse you into a world that's otherwise inaccessible, right? Uh, imagine playing Titanfall with VR. Imagine actually feeling the vertigo because as you look around, you're actually seeing your character jump from building to building and you get an actual sense of height uh, from that experience because as far as your brain is concerned, you're actually doing these things. You're not watching this happen on a TV screen your eyes and your brain are fooled well enough to actually believe that there is a real sense of danger here. And that, to me, is exactly what VR promises. That and also allowing you to travel to faraway places or go under the sea or go explore the Grand Canyon with no fear or no danger at a relatively low cost. I find all of this stuff to be very exciting. I've been following the Oculus Rift quite a bit because I really think that that was, up till now, probably the most, let's say, attractive option in the VR realm. Uh, and I'm not a PC user. I don't like using PCs for many reasons, but if Oculus Rift was gonna be as successful as we were hoping, that was gonna be a thing. I was gonna buy a, a PC just so I could use Oculus Rift, just because I was so blown away by the technology they were displaying. And for Sony, to bring this home for the PlayStation 4, I think is absolutely stupendous. Uh, the specs all look fantastic on the Mor on Project Morpheus, a 1080p display, uh, and just unbelievable amount of motion tracking. So most of these things in the past have really relied on motion sensors inside the headset. But Sony's taking a different approach here. They've got those motion sensors in the headset, but they're combining that with the light sensing of PlayStation Move, as well as the PlayStation camera. So not only can it, can it figure out if you're moving your head left or right due to the motion sensors in the headset itself, but it also sees it happening. And it can see if you're lowering a little bit or you're twisting a little bit. And all of that stuff is really gonna add to the immersion because every layer of obfuscation between what you're actually doing and what your brain predicts is supposed to happen and what is actually happening to your eyes is it, it's jarring in VR. So the better the motion tracking can be with VR, the better and more immersive it's gonna be. And it sounds like Sony is absolutely nailing this. Again, I'll, I'll, I wanna shoot you to Not Too Nerdy because he really does a good job of explaining how good a job they did with this. Uh, another technology that's out there right now, and I just saw this, and I'm gonna link you to another video about it, uh, but this is a headset, or I'm sorry, it's not a headset, it's a full body suite of sensors, right? And I, I'm sorry if I can't remember the name of it right off the bat, I should've wrote it in my notes. Uh, but what this thing does 
is you strap all these sensors around your body. And let's say you move your arm to like bring your gun up to your face. It actually represents that in the game. Uh, they don't have a really su sophisticated hurt. set of games for it yet. They have announced that they're trying to they're trying to uh, make more deals with uh, game companies, but it really looks stunning. It really looks like it could be a lot of fun. Now imagine playing something like DayZ, and you've got an Oculus Rift on, and when you want to lay down and snipe on the hill, you actually lay down in your living room and bring the gun up to your face and start sniping. Or imagine if you're playing Titanfall, and you you gotta jump around or you gotta like grab onto stuff or say you're you you want to look where you're running but you still want to be firing to your right uh, laying down suppressive fire that's something that could be happening with this suite of devices and I find that really exciting so what I'm gonna do is I'm sorry I can't remember the name of this thing but I will link you to a video uh, from the Twit Network where they actually demo this thing and as you can see in that video it looks really good so Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift has been on the horizon for, I want to say I've been hearing about this thing consistently for about two years. And it has always looked very exciting. It's very nice to see like kind of a smaller company getting into this space, really trying to stir things up. But what has concerned me is the slowness of the development. Now John Carmack actually left id Software, I think it was this summer, and joined that team. And if you know anything about John Carmack, he's the developer of Doom, or one of the developers of Doom. He's been with id Software for forever, and he's generally acknowledged to be a freaking genius, right? And it was exciting to me to know that like somebody of that caliber is now going to be working on the Oculus Rift. Somebody who knows the software and knows how to integrate that with hardware is going to be working on Oculus Rift, and I can't wait to see what the Oculus Rift is going to be. I can't wait to find out, you know, maybe the PlayStation 4 is going to have its limitations as far as graphically being able to display on this VR headset. Maybe the Oculus Rift is going to have that too. Who knows what the differences between these two systems is going to be, but the great thing is, right now, we're going to have a choice. We're going to have a choice. If you want to play PlayStation 4 games in full VR, you can do that. If you want to play PC games in VR, you can do that. Maybe one experience is better for certain types of games, and one experience is better for other types of games. But I've been playing the Let's Play a Thief lately, right? And Thief, to me, seems like a perfect opportunity for VR. Uh, the sneaking around, the situational awareness that you need in a game like Thief so that you don't get caught by this guy looking over his shoulder or this guy walking up behind you while you're, while you're trying to pick a lock as fast as you can. The, the act of sneaking around and the way that Garrett's fingers kind of just like, they kind of hum a little bit, you know, they, he kind of curls his fingers when he's about to grab things. All of these things make Thief a much more immersive game than I think it has almost any right to be. There's something about that game that I find fun, but I also find frustrating, and I think the immersion, the immersion of being Garrett would be amazing. And I think that would be great for all sorts of games, all, like Call of Duty, Titanfall, uh, Thief, you know, Destiny's coming up. All these games, I think it would be just that extra layer of immersion, I think would be just so exciting. And this has been a promise to gamers for so long. I mean, for so long we've had these VR headsets on the horizon but never arriving. And to see Sony really have a product like that's just so close to being ready and to watch Not Too Nerdy's kind of first impressions of it and they're so positive and he's got such a good kind of first impression of this thing that, you know, it just makes me so excited. I couldn't wait to make a video about it today. Uh, you know, I haven't actually had a chance to put these things on yet, and I know that I'm going to love them. I can't wait for them. You know, the Oculus Rift has been on my radar forever. Uh, you know, like I said earlier in the video, if the Oculus Rift was going to be the only VR headset and it was only going to be PC compatible, that was it. I was going to be a PC gamer. I was willing to bite the bullet get Microsoft's operating system back into this house and start gaming on a PC just because I am so excited for the future of VR and the future, the next level of immersion. You know, we've had surround sound for many years now, 10 years I wanna say with a PlayStation 2 and the Xbox original, 
were, I think, were the first consoles to support surround sound, and it was an amazingly immersive experience, you know? Uh, we didn't really get to use it uh, for actual gameplay until probably the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era, where the surround sound headsets came out, and it became a huge advantage to have a surround sound headset in a game like Call of Duty. Uh, learning how to figure out where your enemies were and where they'd be coming from became this huge advantage. Now we're finally going to be at the point where we get that same type of immersion with our eyes as well as our ears. And, you know, imagine a situation like this. You're playing Call of Duty and you hear footsteps behind you and you spin your head around, your whole body around, you bring your hands up and you start firing. Man, that is immersion, and I can't wait. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you get a chance, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.